What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to unleash the excellence of window suit. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. This is my first time opening it up. I wanted to open it up live on camera so you guys get my reaction to everything that's in here. I did speak with the people over at Xans ahead of time, so I do have an idea what to expect here. And so right here, these are the sensors. And so I know this suit in particular comes with 17 sensors and all. And this is a quick step guide here, which actually gives you a good look at what the suit looks like. And so I know it actually comes with a shirt here and then it comes with all the straps here and the straps have Velcro on them. And so what you'll do is you'll take these right here. These are the sensors. You'll take these and you'll actually put these onto the Velcro straps there. And if I look around, yeah, so like this one is for the left foot. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera there, but this one is actually labeled for the left foot. So each one of these sensors are labeled, which is pretty cool. Then if I look at the back here, yeah, these are some shortcut commands for the software that you'll be using. So this could come in handy. So let's get deeper into the package here. So let me pull this over like so. Oh yeah, and the last thing that I see here this is actually an antenna. So this will actually hook into your computer. This will give you the signal to all the sensors here. So I've used mocap suits in the past. If you guys know, you do have to use your router on that particular suit that I was using in the past. But the cool thing with this one is it actually has its own wireless router right here that plugs in with USB. And so I shouldn't get any interference and I could use it with the ZBook that I just got as well. So the mobility with this is really cool. So let me actually put this back into the case here, like so. Let me open up this part. The first thing I see here, we have a little action figure guy here, which they did tell me was gonna be in the case. So he actually has the link suit on, I believe, but yeah, that's cool. So we have the little x -Sans action figure, just set him down right here. And then what do we have here? So we have the gloves here. I'm not gonna take them out of the packet. Oh, actually, I can open it up. I just wanna make sure that I leave it with the packaging so I know what is what, since it is labeled, but I'll open up this right here. So this is the gloves. They are labeled left and right there. Okay, so I see right there. This is the left one. So you have a place for your thumb. Put this over like so. Hopefully, there's other sizes in there because <laughs> this one is really tiny. Oh yeah, so this is the medium. I do see we have another set of gloves, so I'm not gonna miss that one up there. So it comes with several sets there. We have the gloves for the large. We have, we have the t-shirt here as well, but the t-shirt says small on it. So I at least need an extra medium in here. Let's see. So hopefully we got more shirts. Yeah, I see we have more shirts in there. So that's cool. They gave us several sizes there. It looks like this is the dongle key that you'll need for your software and everything. So let me put this down there. Oh, we have the head strap and it actually has a pocket here for the center as well. And so, yeah, this reminds me of when I used to play basketball when I was a youth, you'd have your head strap on there. So that feels pretty comfortable. Like that's gonna be good. Let me put that down there. We have a couple of USB wires. I believe these are for actually charging up our different sensors that we have here. So I'll put these down over here. And we have some plugs. These are for, yeah, this one's for the EU. So if you're in, I'm in the United States, if you're in a different country, they come with adapters for whatever country you're in there. And then I'm guessing, yeah, this is the plug. So this is what the adapter would go to for your charging station. And these right here, these are interesting too, because these are for your feet. And so what you would do is you would actually, let me take this one sensor again here. You take the sensor, attach it to this, and then you slide it into the tongue of your shoe there. And so this is how you get your feet tracking and everything. So I'll put these over here like so. And going through it some more. We have another t-shirt that's a large. And here we go. This is the one that I'm gonna need. So. This is the XSL. This is the t-shirt that I need for me. So let me pull this one out of the bag here. So I'm a big guy. So yeah, let's see. There we go. So that's what the t-shirt looks like right there. You'd actually 
just zip it open like so. So it just, it's almost like putting on a jacket. Let me take this all the way off. So it opens up like that. And then we do have a pocket right here, right where the sternum's at. So you can have a sensor in there as well. You can see that we have some Velcro there as well. So let me take this, leave this to the side. I see some more cables. These are more for the sensors. Let me see what this is. Yeah, this is another adapter for the plug. And it looks like we're coming down to the last few things. So these are the straps that actually go around your different joints on your body and everything. So the reason that when I talked to X-Sense, I liked the Wanda and it caught my eye was because of these straps here. So I'm gonna pull these out because I didn't like getting into, you know, a traditional mocap suit where you have to put on like that spandex suit, getting a little boy over the, the COVID lockdown here and everything. So something like this would be more ideal. I just put these straps onto my different body pivots like so. And then you would just put your sensor onto your strap there. So take the sensor, put it on there, it sticks and we're off to the races. So I like how that setup is there too. Plus, if I want to do mocap with other people, I don't have to, you know, go through letting them put my suit on and then they get all sweaty in it and you have to wash it, take all the sensors out and everything. With this suit, it's going to be good for when I do collaborations, you know, with artists like Mixmaster Mike, when we have them on the turntables. All I have to do is put these straps on them with the sensors on the different joints there and we're good to go. We no longer have to let them borrow my suit and, you know, that's just a big hassle. We have right here we got another thing for the plug let me see what we have here i believe this is the breakout box for all the sensors and everything so i can actually pull this out of its packaging as well there we go so yeah we have a bunch of usb ports here this will actually go with i guess i could open one of these up there we go so you would take this you would link it into this breakout box there, and then you would take one of these sensors and you would just plug it in here. You can actually take all 17 sensors at once and you can actually go through and have them charge up at once. So that's cool right there. You just take all 17 sensors here, plug them into the breakout box here, and you're good to go. But it looks like that's it. So the next step from here would be to put this on and get calibrated and do a motion test with it. So once everything's out the package, this is actually everything that I have on myself. I didn't want to bore you guys with the details showing how you put everything on. You can go to the XN's website to see tutorials on that. But just in a nutshell, we have sensors for each one of the joints here. So you can see I have the gloves here. Each glove has a sensor in it. On my wrist, I have sensors as well. On my biceps, I have sensors there. I have a sensor right here above the chest area. I have a actual sensor on the back area right there, right above my back. And then on my shoulder blades, you can see two more sensors there. There's actually sensors in my socks for my feet. And then if I lift up my leg, you can see I have a upper thigh sensor and I have one right below the knee. So in all in all, we have 17 sensors on ourself. And so let's put this on a motion capture test right now. I have my laptop set out inside of my living room. I have my GoPro out there. I'm actually gonna record that live and then walk into this room just to see what kind of distance we could get while doing motion capture. So as you can see, we have the motion capture software opened up right here. On my left hand side, I actually have a hub hooked up to my laptop because I have the antenna here. This is what connects everything to the sensors as so. And then I also have a dongle here as well. This is to let the software know that I actually own it. And then the last one there is for the mouse. And so I put all my stats and everything in here. So the next thing from here is I'm actually gonna hit okay. And now we can see we have our avatar there. It's upside down because we didn't do any calibration yet. So I'm just gonna come over here, hit calibrate. And this is what's cool. So if you're working with somebody, you can actually do calibration with them. Right now I'm calibrating by myself and I'm gonna use the end pose, which is recommended. So I'm just gonna hit next. We're gonna go through the calibration here in a minute. And so these are all the steps that we have. We have our audio cues and actually I can hit test speaker. Make sure my speakers are on. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So I'm gonna hit start calibration and I'm gonna get this calibrated. So there we go. I just went through the calibration process 
It was real simple, I just followed my audio cues there. If you wanna see step-by-step -step on how to do it, make sure you go to the XNS website where they have audio tutorials. But as you can see now, I'm just gonna turn around a little bit, walk back and forth. So this is turning out pretty cool. Like I'm seeing, it's really on point. Let me put my foot up on the table here. It's holding, and I'll do a couple jumping jacks. So it's holding up pretty well. I'm in my end position and everything here. Let's see if I can actually zoom into my character. And actually, I think I might be able to have it follow it. So there we go. So now it's actually gonna follow my character. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my office now and I'm gonna do a little bit of moving around and let's see how far we can actually push this. So now I'm walking into my office. There we go. So now I'm back in my office here. So I'm just gonna wave. Hopefully it's picking it up on the GoPro camera. Gonna do some boxing moves there like so. Maybe do some knee lifts. Do some jumping back and forth. There you go. And I'm gonna do one last one. Maybe let's do a jump spin. See if it's gonna fly off into space or if it's actually gonna hold position. So there we go. All right, let's go see how it picked up. Dang, so I'm walking back in here at the laptop and it looks like it's picking up out of position. Like I know I don't have a camera set up, but I'm actually gonna walk into my garage here so keep walking, keep walking. Hopefully it's picking it up. I'm inside my garage right now. And I'm gonna come back all the way over back to my laptop that's hooked up there to the, inside the living room here. Dang, so it looks like walk backwards here, other side of the room. There you go. Now run. coming all the way back to position zero now and I wish I had more cameras set up in the house to show you guys but I figured seeing everything on the laptop would suffice so yeah there we go move back in the end position and there we go so I think that's going to do it for this video I basically wanted to show you guys what was inside the case show you guys the setup you know with all the sensors and everything how easy it is to put on it's basically just all straps around my body i did a little bit of live motion inside the software there walking back and forth for my next video i'm going to do some stunts i'm actually going to blow up the air mattress do a couple of jumping stunts you know onto the air mattress maybe walk up and down the steps to see how it does with multi-level but as you can see here like i did jumping jacks i did jump spins and it picked everything up even though i wasn't even near the sensors so if you found this video helpful make sure you leave me a comment down below tell me some stuff that you might want to see me test out with this suit here and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe because the next video is going to be epic and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you guys in the next video i'll see you soon take care what up what up Wimbush here